organization, which conducts its own military decision-making process before its deployment in combat. The team is a group of experts both in guerrilla and counter-guerrilla operations. The team is trained to conduct special recognizance, direct action missions, and unconventional warfare operations behind enemy lines. The mission of Special Force, Forces Regiment Airborne is to plan for, for and conduct unconventional warfare operations in designated areas. This has been the same mission. The primary objective of this unit is to support the unconventional process in all phases of the defense of the country. The Special Forces can conduct internal security operations in conjunction with the conventional forces counter-terrorist operations and provide waterborne operations to deny enemy use of rivers, inland waterways, and shorelines. Sir and 11 enlisted personnel. The team leader. The team leader exercises command of the team and is responsible for planning and supervising unit operations training, morale, and discipline of his men with the execution of activities within the team's area of operations. He is equipped with map, compass, snap link, and armed with assault rifle. The team sergeant. The team sergeant is the principal assistant of the team leaders. He is knowledgeable in all fields of specialization. He attends to the administrative requirements and oversees the overall training of the team. He can teach subjects such as operations and intelligence. He is armed with assault rifles. The operations surgeon. The operations surgeon is responsible for planning and preparation of the team's infiltration in the area of operation. He collects staff estimates in order to develop the operational scheme of maneuver, such as loading and movement plans. He is the jump master of the team. He can train CAFGO or guerrilla forces and operational functions. He is equipped with map, compass, and armed with assault rifle. The Demolition and Sabotage Specialist The Demolition and Sabotage Specialist is highly trained in making improvised explosive devices or IEDs. He is an expert in sabotage and counter-sabotage operations. He is also the logistics NCO of the team. He can teach subjects such as arming and disarming of explosives, placement of mines and booby traps in sabotage operations. He is designated sniper of the team. He is equipped with demolition kit and armed with sniper rifle. The Assistant Demolition and Sabotage Specialist The Assistant Demolition and Sabotage Specialist can teach subjects like demolition and can function similarly as the Demolition Specialist. He is rigor during demolition operations. He is equipped with a snap link armed with assault rifle, attached with M203 grenade launcher. The intelligence surgeant. The intelligence surgeant. The intelligence surgeant is responsible for the coordination of outer and inner security of the team's operational area. He can operate overt and covert intelligence, net independently or along with other AFP units. He is also responsible for all aspects of intelligence, counterintelligence, enforced protection for the team and its indigenous forces. He is the contact man of the team. He is fluent in various local dialects in the area where the team operates. He is equipped with grappling rope. Snap link in arm with a soldier rifle. The heavy weapon specialist. 
The heavy weapons specialist is the assistant of the operations surgeon in planning and preparation of camp defense plan or patrol base plan. He plans and conducts training on tactical security of the team. He can teach subjects such as marksmanship, assembly and disassembly of different weapons, and care and maintenance of government-issued firearms. He is armed with the light weapons specialist assists in the heavy weapons specialist. He is responsible for the preparation of the cross-loading plan of ammunitions and other weapons repair equipment. He is armed with K3 Squad Automatic Weapon. The Medical Specialist The Medical Specialist is responsible for the preparation of personal estimates, PSYOPs medical and dental requirements of the team. He is capable of performing minor surgery. He, is, he ensures that each member is in excellent physical condition and provides training and combat life-saving and hygiene and sanitation. He is the dive master and underwater specialist of the team. He is equipped with medical kit and armed with assault rifle. The assistant medical specialist. The assistant medical specialist functions similarly as the medical specialist. He is responsible for administering as well as preparing the medical and dental requirements of the team. He is equipped with medical kit and armed with assault rifle. The communications specialist. The communication specialist prepares the combination and signal plans of the team. He trains the team members and indigenous forces on expedient communication methods such as installation of expedient antennae, message writing, and continuous wave operation. He is equipped with Harris handle radio, handheld radio and armed with assault rifle. The assistant communication specialist. The assistant communication specialist is the primary radio operator of the team. He can teach subjects such as radio telephone procedures, silent signals, and other guerrilla communication systems. He is also responsible for the repair and maintenance of all communication equipment of the team. He is equipped with Harris Manpack radio and armed with assault rifle. For operational purposes, a special forces team can be subdivided into three direct action teams. These teams can infiltrate by land, air, and water. Ladies and gentlemen, the Special Forces team, the soldiers, soldier. The fourth, the fourth Special Forces Battalion, Special Forces Regiment Airborne, is headed by Lieutenant Colonel Bernard P. Summon, General Staff for Philippine Army, together with First Lieutenant John Clifford C. Dolan, Infantry Philippine Army. Next would be the 1st Cavalry Battalion, Armored Division, Philippine Army.